Justin Karaoke's and Selena appears in a new movie trailer. Taylor Swift attends Blake Lively's baby shower. And Kylie Jenner is starting a new booty trend. All that and more on today's rundown. Today's episode of DHR is brought to you by Express. How do you express life? PLL fans, we have a major update coming for you later in the show. But first, catch me up on the Jelena drama. New reports have come out that Justin Bieber actually skipped the VMAs to go to a bar and sing karaoke alone. What? Yeah, you're not alone. Sounds weird to me. I thought too. he was in Cabo with Sophia Richie partying it up. I think this was right after they got back. Okay. So like Aaron said, right after coming home from Cabo back to Los Angeles, Justin hit up Residuals Tavern in Studio City around 10 o'clock. It's just north of Hollywood, and he did some karaoke solo. Well, his bodyguard was with him. Onlooker said that he was drinking Jack Daniels, and he sang the song Great Balls of Fire, which is hilarious. And his source said, quote, Justin knows the owner really well, so came in and drank for free. He was knocking back Jack Daniels, neat, and seemed really relaxed. After a few drinks, he seemed to be in a really good mood, and a few people were doing karaoke. The host said, Justin's going to sing for us tonight. Sources also said that he was very friendly. He did take a few pics with people, but said that he'd rather talk to them instead of take pictures with them, and he left after about an hour. And he was there also just a week ago, and he actually paid for a funeral party's drinks. They went there after a funeral. So Justin did them a solid and picked up the tab. And he was nominated for several Moon Men at the VMAs, so why didn't he go to the VMAs? I think Justin might be tired of the limelight right now, and he didn't want people to ask him questions about Instagram. Maybe he's taking a turn for the better. Maybe getting off Instagram was the best thing that ever happened to him. I don't know. Selena wasn't there either. Both of them said peace out to the VMAs. Yeah, Weird, I, right? I think they both didn't want to, well, Maybe not Justin, but I think Selena did not want to get involved in any of that drama, that yeah. Taylor Swift drama. We're going to get to Selena, but real quick, I just want to mention that it came out today that Justin Bieber now has eight Guinness Book World Records because of the charts and because of Spotify. I just want to tell you guys about a couple of them. He got a record because he has the most streamed track on Spotify in one week. It was What Do You Mean with over 30 million times. Wow. And also the most streamed album on Spotify in one week, which was Purpose, 205 million times. So really impressive. Now let's get to Selena. Yes. Also not at the VMAs. It came out, Hollywood Lifers reporting that she's taking some time to decompress back at home in Dallas, Texas. She's on a break from her world tour and probably not loving all these Justin Bieber headlines she's seeing right now. I'm sure in Texas she's staying far away from all the headlines. Oh yeah. The source said, quote, Selena has been using the end of her tour break to recharge at home in Dallas. She has been largely unplugged and taking a break from social media. Selena has been keeping things simple and cutting back all the excess noise in her life. She has been spending time with close friends and family before she has to get back on the road for the grueling international leg of her world tour. She's been trying to keep her mind off the boys in her life and focusing on relaxing and decompressing. So that's why she wasn't at the VMAs this weekend. Yes, but why wasn't Justin there again? Maybe he's doing I the digress. same thing. Okay, but in more exciting Selena Gomez yes, news. Yes, this is really We have awesome. a really short clip for you guys of a brand new movie trailer that she's in. It's called Indubious Battle. She may or may not be pregnant. All I want is just a simple, clean life. So someone else who was not at the VMAs was Taylor Swift, not surprisingly. But what is surprising is that what she chose to do in her free time this weekend is pretty normal, actually. She was called in to do her civic duty as serving as a juror member. So she showed up looking so normal, fresh face, no makeup, simple uh, to perform her civic duty. A lot of the other jurors who were selected for this trial that she was going to have to be a juror on, they were all taking selfies with her. She was all smiles, totally willing to take photos with everyone, which is kind of surprising considering all the drama that she's been through lately with all the Tom Hiddleston stuff. So she spent the entire day there and when it came time to decide who was actually going to be the jurors on the trial, she was dismissed because she has an ongoing um, court issue with someone who she thinks or, or is claiming touched her inappropriately backstage. So because she told the judge that 
Because that happened to her, she feels like she wouldn't be an unbiased juror in a specific case that she was going to have to sit in and on. I just want to say, how dare the state of New York call in Taylor Swift for jury duty? Why not? She's a normal person, too. She happens to be a celebrity, but right. everybody has no to perform civic duties. No matter what case she was ever a juror on, it would just be overshadowed by Taylor Swift, so it wouldn't be fair. Fair enough. But also, over the weekend, Taylor decided to do life really low-key and attend her one of her best friends, Blake Lively's baby shower. Um, have you noticed on Taylor's Instagram lately, she's only posting about her friend's birthdays? Because she has to, as a friend. As a friend, she has to. Yeah. But it's interesting because I'm like, okay, these are the people she actually cares about in her squad. Uh, so apparently Taylor Swift showed up for that. There are no photos, but it was in New York and a bunch of other people came. It was a private surprise little uh, baby shower. I have so, a question. Yeah, okay, I hope I have an answer. You probably won't. <laughs> What do you get Blake Lively, who already has a child and is a millionaire, what do you get her for her baby shower? I feel like Taylor Swift would probably hand make something, or maybe like a little painting or something. You know, she's painted things for people in the past. Okay. I feel like that's something okay. that Taylor would do or have something engraved. Like she seems like that type of person. Guys, now it's time for our top story brought to you by Express. All your favorite celebs love to express themselves in different ways. And today, our girl Kylie Jenner. She's expressing herself by starting a whole new jean trend that you know you want to hear about. You may have already seen it. So I was actually scrolling through Instagram yesterday and I saw one of Kylie's new Instagram photos and I thought to myself, here we go. This is happening. This is gonna be a whole new thing, guys. Check out this photo. The girl just pioneered a new end of summer denim trend, ripping open the butt pockets of your jeans and a little booty's gonna be hanging out. A la all these Instagram pics, you see how it works. Mark my words, by tomorrow, half the girls at your school will be trying this out, this butt cleavage. And it does seem to work better with high-waisted jeans rather than regular mid-rise jeans because this isn't the first time that Kylie's actually done this. Check out this pic. She did this a while ago. And I give Kylie props for trying something new. Yeah, I think you, the key here is having a good pair of jeans like some express jeans, which really are awesome jeans. But you have to have a good pair of jeans to pull this off. I thought you were gonna say you have to have a good booty to pull this off. Details, but that too. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise, people. Black China is becoming Kim Kardashian. She's, Not surprised. She's been doing that for a while. She's been transitioning for a long time, <laughs> and as I say, you are who you surround yourself with. Black China is naked, guys on the cover of Paper Magazine. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is, because Kim Kardashian did pretty much the same thing on Paper Magazine as well. China took the cover of Paper Magazine's September issue. The spread's called 1,000 Beautiful People Class of 2016. She has that baby bump out for the world to see, and not like you could miss it, but it also featured that seven carat diamond engagement ring from Rob, and she posted the photo to Instagram saying, always be yourself, express yourself, and have faith. And if you think that the Kardashian crew was probably a little offended that China's basically doing Kim Kardashian 2.0, they're actually in full support of this. Kim Kardashian supposedly was on set that day helping Black get comfortable in some of her clothes, helped style her, was giving her advice on what to do and how to do it. And what's interesting is uh, Black did not do any interviews. She said that she doesn't want to do interviews. She hasn't done interviews in years. But she did say she's interesting. Ex yeah, isn't that interesting? It's weird that even now, with her whole new life and Rob and the Kardashians, that she doesn't have anything to say. Yeah, or maybe she doesn't want people to twist her words. There's that. There's that too. But I'm sure that we will see everything that went down on an upcoming episode of Rob and China's reality oh, show. Yeah, definitely. Is probably what I'm thinking. They're saving all the drama yeah. for their show. And also what I appreciate is that this is a pregnancy. This is something to celebrate and Kim's being supportive and doing the right thing, which is awesome. I've always said that the Kardashian girls say what you will about them. They do all support each other mm -hmm. and Black China is gonna be a Kardashian soon, so good for them. We have bad news for PLL fans. Oh, Pretty I heard. little liars. You guys know what I'm about to say. You probably do. After season seven, the show is coming to an end. So after last night's finale, there will be 10 episodes left. No, I know. how has it gone by so quickly? Don't cry, Erin. We gotta get through the rest of the show, you guys. The creator, I, Marlene King, and all the girls got together for a Facebook Live chat where they made the big announcement from the show's set where they're filming the final episodes. And the big question is, will we get all the answers that we've been looking for? The creator said, quote, I'm excited for fans to finally have all of their questions answered, and I believe they will be satisfied with the wild ride that is 
our last 10 episodes. The second half of the season will premiere in April 2017 and will include a lot of past characters coming back, which is awesome. And the finale will be a supersized two our event. And King did also tease that the show could live on in another form after the series ends, AKA a movie. Oh yes. They'd be smart to do a movie because it'd oh, make a ton of money. Just like Sex in the City. I think it's genius. Yeah. The good news about this is that it seems like the show is going to end on a high note. The worst thing is when you're obsessed with a show and it just kind of like dies out and fizzles out. So at least the fandom will have a complete PLL experience from beginning to end that they love and obsess over for years to come. I need answers. All right, guys, why do you think Justin Bieber skipped out on the VMAs to perform karaoke at a strip mall? And are you gonna try Kylie Jenner's new butt pocket ripped jean trend? Ooh, you gotta have a lot of confidence to pull that off. I'm not I sure. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Let us know. Or tag us in your photos on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you do, I'm at Hey Erin Robinson. She's at Misty King, my guys. And tomorrow is another day on the tour, and we both will be back here looking fly. Do people say fly anymore? Uh, fly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm bringing it back in tonight. Fly. Bye. We've got your MTV VMA recap in 90 seconds on the left. And on the right, Ariana Grande responds to all of those Mac Miller rumors. Thanks again to Express for sponsoring this episode. Follow Express on Instagram and Snapchat to see this season's best styles. Click the link in the description below to get the details on our style looks from today's episode.